Every time someone walks or bikes or drives past, they look at me like I'm crazy. You read the title, you saw the thumbnail. Basically, in this video, I'm just going to be addressing some questions and anxiety thought things that I had about college before I started. I'm gonna try to go as fast as possible through these, so if there's anyone that sticks out as particularly interesting, do you want me to make a whole video addressing it? Just leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to do that. Maybe, no promises, but maybe. Just being honest, like and subscribe. What if I don't get good housing? What if I don't get the housing I want? What if I end up in the crappy dorm? What if my dorm doesn't have air conditioning? What what do I do? Oh my god, how am I gonna survive? So, here's the thing, here's the truth. Your dorm and your living situation is more made up of the people than the actual building and the facilities. I was really bummed when I got my housing assignment last year for freshman year. I was told it was like the crappy storms on campus. Like it was just like the worst and like there were so many like nicer ones and I saw them and I was like, oh my God, now how am I gonna survive? But I ended up actually really loving it. If you really wanna get the most out of your dorm experience, make sure to get to know the people around you because the people make it, not the place. But if you really do end up hating your dorm, worst case scenario, you can just not spend time there. Colleges are full of 24 seven spaces. Do I need a printer, a microwave, a fridge, a kettle, a coffee maker? Do I need to bring a whole kitchen set? What do I do? I'm making fun of me, by the way, not y'all. Maybe a little bit y'all. No, you don't need a printer. It'll be more convenient, but it's definitely not a necessity. Two, microwave. I was not allowed to have a microwave in my dorm and I survived just fine. We had a common room that had a common kitchen and it, I didn't need to microwave anything other than popcorn, but when I did, it was there. Coffee maker, I definitely don't need one. There will be cafes on campus and places where you can get coffee. However, I did bring one just because I like to sleep in in the mornings and I, I just can't wake up early for breakfast and coffee and stuff, but I'm a caffeine addict, so yeah, I needed one. Kettles are really, really useful, but this is a very common item, so keep in mind that your friends will definitely have one that you can borrow. And last, a whole kitchen set, Um, I brought Basically everything you can find in a common kitchen. Pots, pans, strainers, spatulas, can openers, a whole box full of just like kitchen slides. I brought a potato, I brought a potato masher. Like no, it was useful um, a little bit for me, but I, but I definitely could have survived without it. Location change because my roommate came home and I respect shared space. Cars are literally so loud. Does your college GPA matter? Here's the tea, sis. Um, yes, it does. Especially if you're going to med school or graduate school or anything like that. Yeah, your GPA kind of does matter a lot. If that, those paths aren't in your future, admittedly, it might matter less. But at the end of the day, you want to try as hard as you can just to have that cushioning and protection of either for an entry-level job or if you do decide to go to grad school later down the line. What club should I join? How many should I join? How do I join them? As is the answer to most of these questions, it is all up to you personally. What I would have told myself a year ago is, Hannah, you're gonna be busy 24 seven, even if you don't try to be busy 24 seven. So be very selective about what you decide to join. And that's what I did end up doing. Of course, go to club fairs, talk to upperclassmen, see what's happening on campus and how you can get involved and go to first meetings or whatever, especially during the first few weeks of school. But at the end of the year, by the end of the term, you're naturally gonna figure out what you want to really dive into and commit yourself to. I'm personally the type of person who prefers to be deeply involved in few things as opposed to spread among the uh, many things. How should I make friends? Here's my hot tip. I've definitely said this before, but just dive in during the first few weeks. If you're an introvert, be an extrovert. Just force yourself to fake it, just fake it. So you make it, just do it. Just push through it for a few weeks and you will find people, you will find friends. Talk to the people in your building, talk to the people in your floor. Here's the tea. Most people aren't going to know a lot of people at college during the first few weeks and even the first few months. And it, that is really the point where everyone is really just open to meeting and talking to people and just being as open to communication as possible. If you go into college open-minded, you're probably gonna be less let down. 
six. Do I need to be best friends with my roommate? No, of course you don't need to be best friends with your roommate. Would that be awesome? Yes, of course, but you don't have to be. Hanging out with each other's friend groups is really fun and it lets you meet more people. As long as you are civil with your roommate, which basically just boils down to respecting them, um, everything will be fine as long as they respect you too. Sorry about the birds. If I could stop them, I would. Is it okay if I eat alone? Over time, you may develop a friend group where your times just happen to coincide, so you're eating alone less and less, but if you eat alone, it's fine. Nobody cares. If you really want to be occupied in that time, make a phone call to a friend back home. Use that time to call your parents. Most of the times when I ate alone, I would use it as an opportunity to call or FaceTime my mom and check in. Which brings me to the next point. How many times should I call my friends and family from home? If you're anything like me, the first few weeks are going to hold a lot of phone calls home. Whether it's because you miss your family and friends or they miss you. But over time, as you get into your routine and as you get more busy, those are gonna dampen off a little bit. Someone once told me to call people when you think of them, when they cross your mind, and I think that's really good advice, especially in college. How does transportation work? So depending on whether you go to a city school, a rural school, a suburban school, whatever, this is going to be totally different. For example, I went to a rural school and we had a bus system rounding towns and a bus coach thing that would go to the cities. So I didn't have to worry about trains or cars or anything like that. If there are bus schedules, learn where to find them, learn how to take advantage of those um, means of transportation. If you don't get ahead on that, you will low-key be super stressed out later when you actually have to go somewhere and you're like, also consider bringing a bike or scooter or skateboard or roller skates or the what are the shoes with the wheels heelys whatever in class should you sit next to someone should you sit alone should you sit in the front in the back what do what do you do when you walk to the big lecture hall surprise surprise it's all up to you but here are my things that i'm going to recommend you keep in mind how do you learn best what kind of class is this? Is this a social class that's going to involve a lot of discussion? In that case, you may want to sit next to someone you feel comfortable around. Is it a math class with a professor with a really thick, heavy accent where like being as close to the board as possible is really the only way to maybe understand what's going on? Oh my god, those birds. You're going to be late to class a lot. You're gonna to have to sneak in through the back door. Maybe you want to sit in the back row then. I don't know. It's up to you, man. That's why I'm actually gonna cut this half of the video off. If you want to know whether or not college is actually harder than high school, or what office hours are, or if you actually have to go to class, or how to find out about party life on campus, click over to the next video, part two. If you're waiting for that video to come out, you can go ahead and like and subscribe and click the little bell button so you get notifications when I post that video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope this helped. Please let me know if there's anything else you want me to touch on in the comments below. Bye!